the Manhattan. You can be ramen noodle poor and yet still feel like a millionaire with this cheap drunk drink. Check it out. All right, so in order to make the Manhattan, it's a pretty simplistic drink, despite being quite delicious. Uh, I'm using wild turkey rye, and we're gonna take two ounces of our wild turkey rye and put it into a mixing glass. Now the reason I'm choosing wild turkey is because it is a cheap drunk series drink, and for being $20 a bottle where I bought it, it's a very good value. And it should turn out to be make a pretty good Manhattan. We're also going to use three quarters ounces of a sweet vermouth. Now there's a lot of different variety in sweet vermouth category. Martini's one that most people should have and it's very cheap. Uh, it's not the greatest in the world but these two together should combine pretty well to make a nice cocktail. Finish it off with some Angostura bitters and we're just going to put one or two dashes in here. I'm going to put two and the Angostura bitters might seem kind of expensive at first, but you get a lot of usage out of that bottle. So the next thing you want to do is throw some ice in here, and in the meantime, I want to throw in the fact you need to put a cocktail glass, or any kind of glass that you want, filled with water and ice. Uh, bars will eat, a lot of times use soda water and ice, just something to chill that glass down while you prepare the drink, so you have something nice and cool to throw it in. So. I'm going to throw some ice in here. Now, you might think I'm using the wrong kind of glass to stir this in. Uh, the reason I chose this glass in particular is because I find the drinks are really easy to stir in just because it's pretty wide. And I prefer using it over top of my regular mixing glass that I use to shake. So you want to stir this up probably a good half a minute, 45 seconds or so, just to make sure that you really cool the drink down to where you want it. You got to make sure that, you know, you don't want to over dilute it. You want to make sure that you dilute it enough to take kind of the sting away from the alcohol. But you want to make sure that it's not too watered down all the while making sure it stays pretty cold. You know, that's in all what we're trying to create. So, once we've stirred this for about 35, 40 seconds or so, we're going to take our glass, empty out the water and ice that we have in it, And now we have a nice chilled cocktail glass to strain this off into. If you did it right, the glass, the uh, drink should be nice and clear. That's why we stir it rather than shake it, shake it, and it'll give it kind of a cloudier appearance. But this is how you make the Manhattan. And we just want to grab a cherry, just a maraschino cherry set it right down in that glass. And this is how you make the cheap drunk Manhattan. And if you want to experiment with it, you know, you can. You can add a little bit more sweet vermouth if you like it sweeter, or you can add a little bit more of the whiskey if you want it a little bit stronger, because sometimes they'll use either higher proof bourbon or whiskey in this. Uh, this is 81 proof. Sometimes they'll use like 100 proof or 90 proof somewhere in there. So if 81 is not quite high enough for you, you can either upgrade to a higher whiskey or put just a little bit more in. Regardless, this is how you make that Manhattan. Fantastic drink. That is a damn good Manhattan at a damn good price. So. Remember guys, you don't have to be rich to enjoy a good drink. These classics, a lot of times you'll see people using really expensive whiskeys in them, really expensive vermouths, and chances are they turn out fantastic. But you don't have to spend that much money to have quite nice drink. 
So thanks for checking out this one. This is the Manhattan Cheap Drunk Style. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter at an idiot's liquor. Until next time, guys, remember, you don't have to be a millionaire to have a good drink.